the partnership we've entered into with MTN Uganda, as APSA Uganda entails the rollout of a new product offering. Typically, you are aware of MTN MomoPay. So what we have done is that we've entered into a partnership whereby MTN uh, subscribers who have uh, you know, MomoPay uh, installed or MTN money installed on their devices can now be able to use MTN MomoPay on APSA point of sale devices uh, across um, you know, our various uh, merchants uh, across the country. So what this typically entails is that all MTN subscribers, regardless of whether you have a bank account with uh, APSA bank or not, will have access to our payment platform through the APSA point of sale device. So that's the significance of uh, you know, the partnership that we are, have entered into today. There is a huge drive to drive, uh, you know, digital payments and become, you know, cashless economies, as it were. So yes, it is part of, um, you know, what is happening globally as a way of moving cash from the way we do, um, you know, business. And uh, I think Charles, as you know, as we go digital, as transactions become cashless, the benefit of that is the convenience, first of all, the convenience of not having to go to a physical establishment in order to do a transaction. In line with global trends, uh, APSA Uganda and uh, you know um, um, uh, uh, Ugandan banking sector is definitely moving in that direction of ensuring that we drive cashless transactions to conform with the, uh, the, the global trends and also to uh, manage the health scares that come with the physical transactions. Um, I think the message is clear that the future is digital and that, uh, that uh, the future is now. The trends that we are seeing happening at a local level and at a global level are things that we all just need to embrace. I think if you look at statistics uh, from uh, the central bank in terms of what sort of or what constitutes uh, you know the largest volume of transactions, you realize that majority of the transactions that are done at a local level, um, I think close to thirty percent uh, or in excess of thirty percent is around mobile money transactions. Over ninety percent are electronic transactions. So if you look at those statistics, it's pointing to the fact that the future is digital and that digital future has actually arrived now and we just need to embrace it. So for all businesses, for me, what I would be saying to them is that embrace the digital options uh, as a way of uh, you know, doing business and making or facilitating payments. Um, there are benefits that are attributable to that from a cost uh, uh, perspective, from an efficiency perspective, a health perspective, and a security perspective. Because to the extent that you eliminate the use of cash from your business, you are not only creating efficiencies and convenience for your customers, but you're also creating efficiencies from your perspective as a business operation. There are efficiencies that come through uh, in terms of reduced cost of managing or handling cash and also the security associated with uh, you know, managing large volumes of cash. So yes, my advice would be to embrace all these digital solutions that I'm offering from not only APSA Bank Uganda, but the you know, entire banking sector, because as I said, the future is digital and the future is now. It's, it's evident that uh, technology is here to stay. I think earlier on, I indicated that the future is digital and uh, the future is now. So technology will continue to play a center stage. Um, uh, it will be at the core of everything that we do. For example, if you look at, um, you know, I, 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 I earlier on, uh, you know, referred to, to statistics around uh, electronic uh, payment transactions vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, physical transactions such as use of checks and the like. Um, what typically is happening now is I indicated that over 90% of the payments that happen uh, within the uh, Ugandan economy are electronic. So, and that electronic uh, or those electronic plat platforms, obviously there's mobile money, there's agency banking, there's electronic funds transfer. And those are the top three uh, channels or, or, or avenues through which transactions are done. So going forward, I think technology plays an, a very important part uh, in terms of how we do the business uh, or uh, in the financial services sector. And key and ultimately most importantly is that a partnership such as the one we've entered into with the MTN, it fosters financial inclusion. So if you look at uh, you know, the, the, the number of banked customers, I think we, we look at a, a statistic of around, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's two, around two or three, uh, two to three million uh, uh, Ugandans. But when you look at the population that have access to mobile phones, uh, that's uh, you know, north of 20 million users. 
So what does technology do? What technology is doing is it's providing a platform for financial inclusion. The unbanked people that uh, you know possibly have mobile phones and the like are brought into the uh, financial services ecosystem. So for me, um, what technology does is it takes center stage. It's very pivotal in, in ensuring financial inclusion. It's very uh, pivotal in terms of uh, creating efficiencies. It's very pivotal in terms of providing an alternative way of ensuring that there is enhanced uh, you know, uh, access to, to services across the, 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 the nation and also uh, to various facilities and services that one would typically not access had they not uh, you know, had uh, you know, digital devices. So it, it plays a, a very pivotal role in terms of financial inclusion and stimulating trade and uh, operations. Thank you.